Hi there, I'm Danny Flexen and welcome to the latest edition of Seconds Out Flex Expectations. We're here every Thursday at 4.30pm to talk about the upcoming action in the world of boxing. And we have a world title fight to look forward to on Saturday night, albeit not being televised um, in the UK, at least as I film this on Thursday morning. But things could still change at the last minute, although the days of Box Nation picking up great fights at 24 hours notice do seem to be now in the past. Um, but on Fox Sports, big exposure out in the US, we'll see Caleb Plant making the latest defence of his IBF super middleweight title against Caleb Truax. Battle to find the best Caleb, I guess, in the sport today, as well as to determine the number one fighter for the IBF at £168. And the shadow of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the sport today, Canelo Alvarez, looms large over proceedings. You know, it's been talked about, and I interviewed Caleb Plant recently, and he said the same thing. He feels he will definitely fight Canelo this year. Canelo on a mission in the short term, he said, to unify all the titles at £168. He's already got two of them, the WBA Super and the WBC. Um, the only two big of the big four belts remaining are owned by Plant and Billy Joe Saunders, the WBO champion. Now, the fact that Canelo has just signed a two-fight deal with uh, DAZN uh, and, and Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing USA, suggests that the second fight of that deal, the first is, of course, on the 27th of February against Abney Yildirim, who I had the pleasure of interviewing earlier this week, alongside his very confident coach, Joel Diaz. So you should check that out, as well as the Caleb Plant interview. Um, but plugs aside, yeah, he fights on February the 27th, and then the second fight will be as close as possible to that Cinco de Mayo uh, Mexican holiday weekend, as usual for Canelo. And because it's the second fight of a two-fight deal with the zone, it's likely to be against a the zone slash matchroom fighter. Most likely, as he wants to unify all the belts, Billy Joe Saunders. He's certainly leading the chasing pack at the moment for that date. So you would assume that if Caleb Plant um, beats Truax and that Canelo comes through his next two fights um, with uh, still... Winning, I was going to say unbeaten record in tap, but we know he lost to Floyd Mayweather, of course, although it seems like a world ago now. Um, then they will clash on the second of those uh, Mexican holiday weekends in September um, that Canelo likes to favour. So there's a lot to, to kind of lose, I guess, for Caleb Plant. Um, and I think the opponent they've picked is suitable for the occasion. There's no disrespect to Caleb Truex, so I actually rate highly as a fighter. I remember. Um, placing a, a decent, for my standards, bet on him to beat uh, Peter Quillen when they fought a couple of years ago. And it ended early with a no decision after an accidental head clash, thus losing my money, unfortunately. But more to the point, he was underrated with the bookmakers for that one, Truax. And I felt he had the beating of Quillen, who hadn't really done anything at 168. Truax, former holder of the belt that they'll be contesting on Saturday night, he upset James DeGale a few years ago for the IBF um, strap and lost it back in a rematch, although even that was close. Um, since then, he's been unbeaten, but against pretty much undemanding opposition. And in his last fight, um, around a year ago now, he, he laboured um, to a majority decision win and said himself afterwards he felt ring rust might be to blame. Well, he's been out for around the same amount of time now than he was before that fight. So ring rust could once again be a concern. Um, obviously, he'll have been working hard in the gym um, and still a talented, you know, pressure fighter, does the basics well, tough and durable. He has been stopped a couple of times, uh, once in the final round against Danny Jacobs. No disgrace there. And he was giving Jacobs a, a good effort, um, losing widely on the cards, but, but you know, in the fight, at least until the middle rounds. Um, and wiped out in a round by Anthony Durrell, which looks ever more like an aberration on Truex's record. No one's done that to him before or since. And I just think he had a lot of problems from what he said outside of the ring at the time. Now, talking about problems outside the ring, Caleb Plant, pe most people now are familiar with his backstory. Very tough upbringing in Ashland Park, suburb of Nashville in Tennessee. Um, turned it around to become a, a top fighter. Um, built himself up quite a big attraction back home as well, which obviously he's losing out on at the moment with crowds not really allowed in most places or, or only at a small capacity at the moment. Um, but yeah, since then, he's experienced more personal tragedy as an adult as well. Um, we know he lost his daughter, Aaliyah, um, a few years ago. She was only 19 months old. She had a rare medical condition that meant her life was always 
going to be short, and that was a tragic um, loss for him and his family, of course. And then uh, around a year after that, I think it was, he lost his mother as well, who'd not always been a, a kind of regular figure in his life, but still, you know, losing a parent is never easy. Um, so he's, he's kind of done really well to stay mentally focused on his boxing career, despite everything going on outside. Um, very, very good fighter, nicknamed Sweet Hands, kind of describes him pretty well. He's tall, he's long, um, he's got fast hands, good footwork, slick operator. Um, hasn't really looked troubled, particularly, in any of his fights so far. Um, he won the IBF belt with a, a vacant belt with an... Oh no, was it a vacant belt? No, it may have been uh, the first defence for Jose's category, but he certainly came in as the underdog in that fight. Um, and took care of his category, impressed a lot of people that night, and has looked imperious in his first two defences against Mike Lee, destroyed him early on, and against Vincent Feigenbutz in his last fight, back in February, I think it was, last year, dominated on his way to a late stoppage, um, Feigenbutz was never really in the fight. So he's proved um, dominant at a certain level, Truax doesn't, this version of Truax in 2021, I think he's 37 or 38 years old, doesn't appear to be above that level um, that uh, Plant has been fighting at. So you would expect Plant to get the job done. Um, he's focusing on a tweet that Truex sent out a number of years ago where he was hoping, apparently, I haven't seen the tweet, but he was hoping that Plant would get beaten quite early on in his career. He'd switched on the TV, didn't really like what he saw from Caleb Plant. Um, and decided, you know, he, he wanted him to lose for that reason. And Plant's kind of clung on to that, hoped that, you know, took screenshots, thought we're going to meet one day and I'm going to make you eat your words. Well, now's his chance. And in a fight where he's widely expected to win and go on to bigger and better things, it's good that he's found something that he can use as a motivating factor because otherwise he might find it quite hard to get up for this. Um, but there's that and there's also the Canelo carrot, if you like, ginger pun intended on the line um, and he'll want that and he feels very confident and you'll see in the interview that I did with him he said he feels he has all the tools to defeat Canelo and uh, it's a very intriguing fight I think you know when it was rumoured that Canelo was going to be fighting uh, Billy Joe Saunders last year and then it was uh, confirmed he would be meeting Callum Smith uh, back at the end of uh, 2020 a lot of people were disappointed and, and would have preferred Canelo to fight Plant now, the way boxing is and the, and the fan base and stuff, so the hardcore fan base, certainly, once the plant fight is agreed, then people probably say the opposite. But for now, it's a fight that people are at least, you know, moderately interested in. And to keep the dreams alive for that to take place, uh, plant needs to get the job done on Fox on Saturday night. And I think he will. Um, I think he'll do it fairly comfortably as well. Truex is a very good fighter when he's motivated and he's sharp, but he has been out of the ring for a while. He's going up against a taller, longer guy, younger, fresher. Um, Plant's 28 years old, so around his physical prime, 20-0. and 0. Um, This is an important year for him. It really is time for him to step up the level of opposition and go from world-class fighter to elite fighter, if indeed the potential for that is there. Um, so we'll look forward to that. Um, and also another benefit for the Plant family, um, Caleb's wife, uh, Jordan, gets the night off. She's a boxing reporter for Fox. But because of the conflict of interest, she doesn't work his fights. I'm sure she'll still be there watching, of course. But she gets the night off from her reporting duties. So she'll be available for those guys to go out and celebrate as a family later on. So it's kind of a heartwarming story. Not um, characteristic of these vlogs, I must admit. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But I want you guys to tell me what you think. A, how the Plant Truax fight is going to go um, on Saturday night. But also, who... Would you like to see Canelo fight next? If he had the choice, obviously it's, he's going to be a disowned fighter. But if, if you could choose between Saunders and Plant, who do you think is the bigger threat to him? And what do you think Plant brings to the table? You know, if they do end up fighting in September, him and Canelo, do you give him a chance? And if so, why? What, what about him, either stylistically or, or whatever you've seen of him? What do you think poses Canelo problems, um, if anything? Let us know your thoughts. I'll respond to some of the comments and I will see you next on Monday for Reflections, 4.30pm and the next Flex Expectations, the same time on Thursday next week. Really appreciate your time and um, I'll see you all soon. Cheers.